Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see few journals which are indexed in Scopus that is in 2023 Scopus index list of journals. So we are going to talk about few journals which are related to mechanical engineering that is of course completely about engineering based that is mechanical engineering, industrial, control and system engineering, computer science and uh, we are we also talk about we'll also talk about social science law general social science library information science and computer science and applications and civil and structural engineering computer science and applications so the very first uh, uh, journal which you are going to see is what journal of manufacturing science and engineering so here you can see this is from 1960 to present okay so uh, present in the sense still there in scopus 2023 and you can see what are all the subject area it covers okay. so if you click on the source home page it will take you to this this is journal of manufacturing science and engineering so the publisher here you can see who is the publisher ASME okay so the American Society of Mechanical, Mechanical Engineering so what are the important thing which you have to see is what the first one is whether this is under the scope of your article okay that is this particular journal and what is the issue what are the issue that is how many issues they are uh, publishing per year what is the cost of the journal what is the response uh, that is the response time how many days they are taking to respond you back from your submission date okay so all these things are important after this you should see what is the template okay and what are the thing which you have to submit what is the checklist which they have given and you should also see what is the plagiarism policy so all these things are given here so let us see this is the first journal so here you can see what are the uh, um, uh, that is publication okay if most of the journal they have they will mention how many issues per year they are just publishing okay so if you click on about the journal you can see that this is the, about the journal what are the scope of the journal areas including additive manufacturing advanced material processing so they have given a lot and lot of engineering related uh, scope okay and here you can also see this is monthly okay monthly uh, means every month they'll be publishing the uh, uh, issues so here you can see you have other links as well that is submit a paper or the resources any journal so etc etc everything is available here so yes i if you are uh, your journal is under these any of these scope please go ahead so once if you click information to the author so here you can see submit a paper information for authors so once if you click it will take you to this page okay so you can see almost every information regarding related to you like what are the things which you have to find plagiarism permission everything okay and what are the important one is like a template okay here you can see word template and latex template is available here and here you can see the publication charges so once if you click the publication charges you can see what is the charge for publication and you should also check what are the type of papers they are accepting whether they are accepting only the research paper or whether they are accepting only uh, only the survey paper okay there is a literature review paper so everything you can see so the research papers do not have specific a specified length but are usually 6000 to 10000 words with five to eight figures or tables okay so what is the publication charge you can see here that there are no charges to submit and publish a standard research paper Paid charges do not apply, even there is no paid charges. But if you wanted to make your uh, pages, that is your paper available uh, is in a colored format, okay, color and print, then you have to pay the fee. If you want to make it as an open access, if any reprints are available or uh, you need, or if any final typeset paper longer than standard journal pages that is uh, standard longer than journals like uh, 6000 to 10000 and if they are uh, if they feel that your paper should be paid that is you have to pay the uh, pay, uh, pay for this because if it exceeds the regular standard pages regular standard pages which means eight pages okay so then they, you have to pay the fee so there is no charges to submit or there is no pay charges but if it is a color print okay so you have to uh, pay dollar 500 per figure one image you have to for one image you have to pay hundred dollars excess page okay so they are um, 
accessed page beyond okay they are considering 12 printed journal pages okay they are not even even they are considering 12 pages if it exceeds 12 pages then you have to pay okay so uh, what is the payment for that they have also mentioned that that is dollar 200 per page charge okay and if you want to make it as an open access then you have to pay some specific charge okay uh, so all these things so this is paid if you wanted to go ahead if it isn't it is not paid if you don't want to make it as a open access okay so here you have uh, other th other than this what what is the uh, normal day like how many days they will uh, they will take okay uh, so if you want to know about the uncertainty qualifications or anything about it you can just go and uh, find out so as of my knowledge they will immediately respond to you like they will take a, a week or 10 days in order to respond you back so you can consider this they have a, a letter format that is if you wanted to uh, add or remove the author then you have to submit this form. so it is in the pdf format you can download and submit it okay so this is about this journal so let us go to the next journal which is social science computer review so for this uh, if your uh, article is under social science law social science general sciences library and information or computer science then you can definitely consider this this is since 1983 it's in Scopus and till now it is there. Okay, if you click on the source homepage, you can see this is what the journal Social Science Computer Review. Okay, and this is uh, the publisher is what Sage Publisher. So here you can see what are the scope of the journal. Okay, so here you can see the scope of the journal Sociology, Anthropology. So all these things are there. And what are the types of paper they're accepting like articles, software reviews, symposiums, book reviews and news and notes. So they're accepting all these things. So let us go to the second part, which is if you want to be very specific about your aim and uh, scope, then you can click here and see what are the various scope and aim. So they are uh, including artificial intelligence, business, computation, computing, everything. So here you can see that this is interdisciplinary in nature. And if you want to see what is the um, cost, okay. So in submission guidelines, you can see there is no fee payable to submit or publish in this journal. So it is free to submit and publish and also if you want to know about the issues you can go and check here all issues and click on 2022 you can see here that they are uh, they are issuing six issues per year okay so six issues per year so of course you will be getting the review properly uh, as soon as possible like uh, anyhow you know you cannot get accept you cannot expect the review report within a day okay but definitely they will reply you within um uh, 20 days or one month fine so if you want to know about any uh, letter format like a uh, mail format like how to get the review report or uh, if it is it is delaying i'm not talking about this particular journal but specifically i'm just telling you if you want to draft a mail on how to get the review report or uh, how to approach the editor to know that uh, what is the charge what is the publication charge and any other inform important information if you want to communicate to that particular editor then please leave your message i can help you like how to write the email for that okay and let us talk about the next journal which is journal of computing and civil engineering this is since 1987 and the publisher is ASEE. -E. So here you can see that Journal of Computing in Civil Engineering and you can see this is a bi-monthly which means that every month okay so you can see um, bi-monthly in the sense um, once sorry one issue will be published uh, on every two months okay so you can see here january that is one issue march there is one issue so may there is one issue then in july they'll be issuing one okay so bi-monthly so which means it is six months per uh, six issues per year okay so here you can see what are all the scope so here in uh, author service you can go to the journal to the authors journal authors um click here so that it will take you to your page where you can find about okay so what is the data sharing but practical applications 
manuscript submission and revision requirements new submission author checklist if you want to know about like any new submission what is the checklist for this so you have to submit it in a latex form i think overleaf template latex everything everything they have uh, mentioned and one of the thing which is which i saw here is what you know uh, they haven't mentioned anything about um uh, about the price that is cost of the journal is not known i have just gone through the complete web page i couldn't find out where they have mentioned even they haven't mentioned it is free or it's paid or anywhere but you can see here that uh, if you click on the summit journal it will take you to this page and if you click on the acsc author guidelines so here you can see some aim and scope and everything but they haven't mentioned anything about it but as of now i feel like even this might be free of charge at uh, until a particular page okay and if it exceeds something so it may be charged so you can send a mail so in this case you have to send a mail to this particular journal uh, asking for what is the cost of this okay or else you can even try it out in the faq so we can just check it in the faq general faq so whether they have talked about the fee no they have talked about the charge yeah that is what even i faced this the publication type is there publication is there okay how do you find extra okay so the, they haven't mentioned anything about uh, the fees okay so what is the fee what is a um, uh, discount okay so you should be i think you should be a ase member in order to publish your work so if you become an ase member then you don't want to uh, uh, pay any amount in order to publish it so check with your uh, uh, college that whether um, okay so they have so you have to subscribe to the journal i think so you can check with your college or you can check with your uh, uh, someone who is already as a member of this particular journal so that you can easily submit it or as you can send a mail to this particular journal to this num mail id asking about the journal information so if you wanted to know about how to write an email to this journal in order to know about what is the publication charge or what is the average time of review they will take or they will take not to respond you back if you want to know anything uh, regarding a mail to an editor you can let me know in the comment box i will definitely help you out okay so hope this three will help you better if you have any uh, any Uh, doubts in your mind regarding the research please leave it i'll try to help you out as much as possible okay so thank you take care bye bye